hop on in. Oh, what a privilege. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Bob, I have to make a confession. Sure. I feel a little nervous to tell you this. Okay. Because you are the king of the grain. I've been experimenting with keto. Have you heard of that? Yeah. And they won't let us eat grain on that diet. Oh. What do you think of that? Well, I guess that's up to you. Oh, you're not judging me. I thought you'd be mad. Oh, so many <laughs> different. Yeah. As soon as we got into this business, everything that was contrary started beating at, beating at us to tell us, you know, in a sense that there was other alternatives and whatnot. And yet the fundamental grains that we make, all the probably 25 different grains, you know, uh, impart a very healthy aspect to our lives unless we have an allergy. Mm. You haven't been there, it's down, you can see Oh, I've been to your store, oh, are you okay, kidding okay. me? Yeah, well, I just didn't Everybody's want you to miss been it. to Bob's Red Mill. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Hey, real quick, will you tell me about your famous beret and your red vest? I mean, that's iconic. Do you wear that when you're not at work? I don't wear the red, no, <laughs> I have, I, I don't do that, but the beret, the, actually this is a driving cab, and I have almost a hundred now. Oh, wow. I've reached a point. Hey, what? that's something I don't know about you. Okay. You've got a hundred caps? Yeah, I do, and, and I bought them all over the world. That's your guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's buying caps, I, I found it. it. Yeah. I love it. So here we are in the iconic Bob's Red Mill. When you look around, I don't get the sense that you're slowing down at all. No, I haven't slowed down at all. I have not retired. I missed retirement. I don't know where it went. <laughs> you see it? If it went by somewhere, well, let me know. No, I yeah. haven't seen it. <laughs> never quit. No, I don't want to. What I've noticed about you today? What? You never seem to be in a hurry. I don't know very many people like that. That's been on my mind for the last several years is, uh, to try to absorb as much as I can and not be in too big a hurry. If you're gonna get the best out of life, you better get the best out of life. If you could have dinner with anybody in the world, who would it be? Trump. Tell me why. Well, I think he needs my guidance. <laughs> what would you tell I'm him? I'm serious. No, I know you're serious. What would you tell the president? Oh. I shouldn't have said that, should I? I got myself into it, didn't I? <laughs> Where are you from? It's always good when we're from here. Originally? I'm really a free market person. I've lived through three wars, maybe four, when you count the little ones, then there's no little war. Yeah. But we don't want to do that again. And I don't see any other way but to trade back and forth and to, to be nice to each other. And I think that it's an incredibly important thing it's in my heart, and yes, I'm selfish because I sell all over the world. I have my products in 81 countries. Wouldn't I rather be selling them healthy whole grain foods than killing them? I mean, I really feel that way. That's an intensely deep, profound feeling in my heart. And then I play the piano. Nothing but blue sky. I see.